and they will inject it at her spinal cord mm? spinal cord and she is meant to relax when all these things are going on <laughs> It's a beautiful day the Lord has made. Indeed, we are glad. Welcome to my channel. Without wasting so much of your time, we will get down into the nitty gritty of this video. Here in Nigeria, society at large sees caesarean section as a taboo. They see the woman as being lazy or weak, even some mother in laws and some husbands intends to insult the woman what they fail to know is that most times there are some conditions that a woman cannot control it just comes to her yes and those conditions are what i'm going to discuss in this video disclaimer i'm not a doctor or midwife or nurse i'm just a yummy mommy of caesarean section or cs is a major oppression whereby a pregnant woman's tummy is cut to, in order to bring out her baby. So many conditions that lead to this caesarean section. We we'll start from number 10. Multiple beds. Yes, you can have two, three babies at a time in your womb. That's twins, triplets, quadruplets. Yeah, in the case of twins, the first one is normal, like the head is down, and the second one is breech. There might be little or no chance that the second one will turn during labor and you wouldn't love to risk yourself. So CS comes in. Caesarean session comes in for the betterment of the baby and the mom. The next one is prolonged labor. Prolonged labor here means a woman is going through labor for hours without her cervix opening or dilating or if the cervix is dilating so slow that is what they call prolonged labor after 20 hours or 22 hours the woman is still not dilating progressively before a woman is able to push out her baby through the v i won't be mentioning um, their names because I don't know if YouTube will give us a strike yes but I must treat this topic judiciously so stick with me now how many cm should a woman reach before delivery a woman should reach up to 10 cm that means the cervix should dilate up to 10 cm before a baby's head can pull through after some certain hours of time 20 or 22 hours and the woman is still at 1 cm or 2 cm progressing so slowly the doctor will always advise you do a caesarean section remember the aim of giving birth is healthy baby healthy mom so as not to put that baby in distress cs is the best solution for her on a normal ground, head should drop on the cervix, but in some situation, the baby's head remains up, or his head remains up, and the buttocks or leg points down, down the tummy. This is a situation we cannot avoid. Yes, it happens to some women. They call it breach presentation. So, in this kind of situation, it takes God's grace for her to push. In short, most doctors will not, will not advise you to push when your baby's leg is facing down your cervix. Cervix is just like an opening through your V. An opening from, from the womb through your V. <laughs> Let me not mention the name here. Okay, through your V. You know what I mean by V. Yes, V, V, V. <laughs> Placenta Prevair. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it very well. Placenta Prevair. I think I'll be attaching some photos here, but let me just explain as I can. The Placenta Prevair is when the placenta is partially or completely blocking the cervix. Cervix is the passage through which 
your baby is meant to come out but instead of it being a bit free or free from anything the placenta is now attached to um, that cervix area it happens it can be anyone it's not even in the woman's hand to decide where the placenta um, attaches itself because the woman cannot push the baby if that placenta is blocking the cervix that is placenta prevair yes the placenta is blocking the cervix i'm trying to explain this to the minimal i'm not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a midwife i am a yummy mommy of two so i'm going to explain it to a layman's understanding have you ever experienced someone trying to choke you yes that is what it means when the umbilical cord wraps around your baby's neck when the umbilical cord wraps around your baby's neck the baby can, cannot make it through the cervix unless it takes god's grace because miracle happens but most cases the doctor will ask for a caesarean section what is this umbilical cord is like a channel that transports food from the placenta to your baby all those shawarma and pizza that you eat when 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 the placenta gathers all the nutrients is the umbilical cord that transports it to the baby yes one is when your baby cannot fit through your pelvis yes when your baby cannot fit through your pelvis like let me say this is your your pelvis okay okay this is your pelvis and your baby's head is like this can it fit in of course not it cannot fit in so when your baby's head is big or your baby is big all round but your pelvis is narrow your baby cannot pass through it there's nothing you can do to force it it might dilate up to 10 cm but once the baby cannot fit it cannot fit is it the woman's fault that her pelvis is narrow no that is how she was created so no stigma do not stigmatize cs mommies this is an awareness video i think i need to chill cheers drink water and mind your business the next condition that makes a woman to go through a cesarean section is cord prolapse mostly during labor instead of the baby's head to come out first the umbilical cord falls out like comes out like drops down through the v yes and you know that this umbilical cord is what transports nutrients and oxygen so when the baby is trying to push with the umbilical cord already fallen out from the v is the baby's head is going to be pressing that umbilical cord the more the baby tries to come out it might lead to still bed <gasps> baby is crying let me go for a short fetal distress this fetal distress a lot of things causes this distress in baby yes prolonged labor can cause it baby in distress that's what fetal distress mean a baby in distress baby in the womb of course so a lot of things can cause it prolonged labor placenta abruption so many things so it's not wise for the woman to just do cs and remove the baby instead of the baby to poo due to the distress and now takes that poo in to his mouth mm -hmm. on a normal ground the baby comes out first followed by the placenta remember the placenta is where the nutrients and oxygen are all packed in yes but in placenta abruption the placenta detaches itself before the baby comes out it has killed a lot of babies because at that point where the placenta has detached from the uterus the baby is no longer getting nutrients the baby is no longer getting oxygen and the baby is still in the womb yes 
that is this placenta abruption. So the solution as at that time is caesarean section. Yes. So, is it the woman's fault? Hmm? High no. blood pressure and diabetes. When there's excess blood in the sugar, oh, when there is excess sugar in the blood, it can damage a lot of organs. So that is why anytime you go for atinetal and you are overweight, your doctor will tell you to go for glucose tolerance test. Yes, I think so. Because I was overweight that time and they told you to do it and it came out well. And anytime you go for atinetal, they always check your blood pressure because these two things can lead to error during childbirth. Yes. So it's always good to go to atinetal. So you see that sometimes it is not by the woman's power. It's not something that she can control. This is natural deciding for her. So I just hope this video will get to the ears of this group of people that are always stigmatizing caesarean section mommies. This decision is a very hard decision to make. Do you know the kind of life and death situation they see themselves? Once a, a woman is ready for caesarean section, she is giving an epidural. Just go and Google the kind of injection, the kind of needle that is being used during this um, epidural. And they will inject it at her spinal cord. Hmm? Spinal cord. And she is meant to relax when all these things are going on. She's meant to relax when all, that, when all these things are going on. So, after going all through this and she comes out with her with her body and with her healthy self and healthy baby mucha mucha baby eh stainless baby you now come and tell her she's not woman enough brother uncle have you been done a past before i just hope this video educates the society yes at large especially in nigeria because this stigma is too much